What's up everybody? I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Now I know it's been a while since the last time I've uploaded a video, which I apologize for, but we have a very special treat for you. Now in the past, I focused on our starter packs. I showed you how to make designs, I showed you a few different methods on how to utilize the most surface area of your dot spaces, and I even showed you how to go the extra mile to make them look even cooler by cutting them out. I showed you a few different methods on how to use an ordinary pair of scissors to cut out the simple designs, and I even showed you how to use an X-Acto knife to cut out the more complex and intricate designs. As always, our company's highest priority has always been safety first. So, regardless of what you're using to cut out your designs, we always highly recommend you use adult supervision. But we're going to put the scissors and the knives away for now because we don't need them for what we're doing today. I am proud to introduce our newest product lines of pre-cut sticky dots designs. What does that mean? It means you do not have to worry about cutting shapes out anymore. You don't have to worry about accidentally cutting off the wrong pieces. You don't have to worry about cutting them inaccurately or in a messy way because we do all of that for you. We pre-cut and pre-shape each design according to the labels on the box so that when you get them, as soon as you pull out of the box, it is ready for you to make and stick to your wall, your car, your window, or wherever you want. Today we have a few of our different product lines in front of you, and we're going to take you through exactly what we have, what's in the boxes, and how to use them. So the first thing we have here is not actually a pre-cut design, it's already an existing product called our standard starter pack. The reason I'm showing you this now is because you have never seen the packaging in my previous videos. The reason you haven't been seeing them in the previous videos is because I had already had the contents laid out on the table for you to view. So this is what they look like. I'm not going to go deep into these because I have covered everything you need to know about the starter pack in my previous videos. So if you do not know what the starter pack is, go ahead, take some time to look at the older videos. The first product lines on our list today for pre-cut designs are our animal packs and our Christmas packs. Over here we have a seahorse a tiger, a T-Rex, a schnauzer, and over here for the Christmas pack we have the elf and the Christmas tree. Now this is really important, these are not all of our designs. We will have so many more designs available in the future, in the very near future, but so far this is what we had to show you today. The next product line in our list of pre-cut designs is our basic emoji pack which comes in 8 different colors. And the final two product lines of our new pre-cut designs that we'll be showing you today are our new licensed Sonic characters. If you notice, they're standing in the back and there are two different series. The two on the left and the two on the right are from our Cute series, and the ones in the middle and the back are from our Icon series. So now that I've introduced to all of you a few of our new product lines of pre-cut designs, let's take one box of each line and break them down so we can see exactly what each pack comes with and exactly how to use them. So the first product line that we're going to be looking at today is our Emoji Sticky Dots Pack since it is the most basic pack we have. It comes in 8 different colors. We're going to be focusing on our yellow pack today. So let's go ahead and open the box and see exactly what comes inside. We just have to pull it open right there. As you can see we have our pre-cut, pre-shaped yellow dot space. You do not have to cut this any further, it's already pre-cut for you. You can put that aside. Let's see what we have. Right here, we have four dot blocks. We're gonna go ahead and put our plastic packaging aside. We don't need that right now. We have two black dot blocks, and we also have one red dot block and one white dot block. Now, regardless of what color you get, you will always get this combination of dot blocks. The reason for that is because if you open up the paper insert that comes inside of it, let me zoom in on this for you or focus in so you can see a little bit more clearly. It comes with a bunch of different facial expressions that you can make. And these four blocks right here, these are just enough to make any of those eight different designs. So, we are going to go with the green face right now. All right, so let's go ahead and break it down. We're gonna take our black dots blocks. We're gonna start with the eyes first. So, I'm gonna tear off that border. Remember, we're not gonna throw this away. We're gonna put it aside because it can always be reused. All right, so it looks like we need four single dots pixels for the corners of each eye. So we're gonna tear off a whole row of four dots pixels. 
and we're gonna break them into single dots pixels. That's one, that's two, that's three, and four, all right? So let's go ahead and put them onto our base. We're gonna look at the template to see exactly where they go. It looks like one of them goes right here. And it looks like they're spaced two pixels apart each. So we're gonna skip two pixels and place it on that next pixel, just like that. All right? Now we need two double pixel pieces. So we're gonna pull off another row of four dots pixels and we're just gonna pull them straight in half. See that we have a row of four, we're gonna pull it straight in half to make two dual pixel pieces. And we're gonna put those exactly where the template tells us to put them. And just like that, we are done with the eyes. So let's move on to the mouth. Remember, you can choose to tear these into any shape or size you want to to make whatever you need to. There are no rules, I'm just tearing them according to how my preferences are. So I'm gonna take two dual pe pixel pieces right in here and I'm gonna use them to make the edges of the top of the mouth. So it looks like the very side of the mouth lies three pixels underneath the top of the eye. So let's put that right there, just like that. And we're gonna do a mirror image on the other side. It looks like there are four pixels in between each of the vertical sides. So we're gonna put that right there. And then we can use the rest of our dots pixels to complete the upper part of the mouth. Just like that. And it looks like we're gonna to need to run into the second dots block. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the border off of that, put it aside. And we need two single dots pixels for the corners of the mouth. You see that? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tear two of them off, just like that. Pull them into two single pixels and put them exactly where it says so on the template. And then we just need one more dual pixel block to complete the mouth. All right, and there we have it. Now let's work on the teeth. So we're gonna take our white dots block, we're gonna pull that border off. Now, if you remember my previous videos, I stated that I prefer to keep all the pieces I want in the same shape or piece. So I want it all to be one piece, so I'm not gonna tear them into different pieces. So I'm gonna tear this dots block to conform to the shape of the, the teeth right now. So I'll do it very slowly so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm being very, very short with my movements, making sure not to tear off or to tear too excessively. That's a better word. There we go. And now I have that one shape I need in one solid piece. And I put that right there, right where it tells me to from the template. And there we have it. That is our emoji face. Now, the great thing about this is, once again, they come with enough blocks to make any one of these eight designs. So if I get bored of this design, say I want to make this design, no problem at all, I can start all over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the eyes, just like that. And let me fold this down a little bit so it doesn't fold up on you so you can see better what exactly I'm looking at. I'm looking at this design right here, all right? So it looks like we need three dual pieces for each eye, three dual pixels. So I'm going to put that right where it tells me to on the template. Remember, I'm following exactly what the template is, uh, is showing me. It's very straightforward. Now, I need another dual pixel piece, but I don't have any, so I'm going to use, I'm going, I'm going to utilize the extra single pieces that I had from the previous previous experiment that we did. So I'm just going to put those right there and it looks as though it is a single, well more like a dual pixel piece right there. You see that? Alright, so now we're going to make the other eye. We're going to tear off some more dots blocks. Alright, now it looks like they're spaced two pixels apart. So I'm going to put two pixels in between these two blocks and I'm just going to do exactly what I did with the first eye on the other side. Just like that. And it looks like we have two single white pixels for the whites of the eye. All 
All right, there we go. Now we're done with the eyes. Now, if you want to make a combination of, say, the eyes from this expression and the mouth of this expression, feel free to do that. See, right now I have the expression or the eyes from this expression and the mouth from this expression, which is fine, but I'm going to complete this expression instead. So I'm going to go ahead and I don't necessarily have to take this all apart. I can just modify what I already have. So if I notice that the only difference is that the bottom layer is red instead of white and there's an extra black dots pixel on each side of the, uh, this mouth. So that's all I have to change. I'm going to pull this white dots block out. I'm going to pull off this extra little two pixels that are sticking out because we don't need them anymore. I'm going to put that right back in. And now we get to use the red dots block. So I'm going to tear off that border, put it aside, tear off the two dots pixels that I need, and put it right there. You see how simple it is? Just like that. And now we have a few extra pieces. We can go back to our little plastic packaging, pop that open, and just drop it in there just for safekeeping. And there you have it. That is our emoji. So let's go ahead and take our acrylic display right here. Let me go ahead and take off that paper back layer. Remember, we're not going to throw away this paper layer. We're going to keep it for safekeeping, all right? So in case we want to transfer this from one wall to the car, we can take this paper layer and stick it back on to protect any dust from getting inside. So now I'm just going to put it right in the middle right here. Press it down nice and firmly. And there we have it. That is our emoji sticky dots. And you can see all the different expressions that you can make from this one pack alone. Now keep in mind that you do not have to follow any of these uh, designs on, from this template. This template is just our samples of what you can make. But you can al always go online, go to Google, go to Pinterest, look up emoji expressions and just take what you want from there and put it onto here. Remember, there are no rules, it's all up to what you want. Alright, so there you have it. That is our emoji sticky dots pack. We're back in the next two product lines on our list of pre-cut sticky dots designs are our animal packs and our Christmas packs. Now the only real difference between these two lines is the theme. For example, the Christmas pack includes designs such as a Christmas elf and the Christmas tree, whereas the animal pack, well, there's a little bit more to it than that because we have divided them into subcategories. For example, the seahorse comes in the aquatic pack, the schnauzer comes in the dog pack, the T-Rex comes in the dinosaur pack, and the tiger comes in the zoo pack. But generally speaking, they're in the exact same packaging, which is why we're including both packs in the same video. But for right now, we're going to focus on the seahorse edition of the aquatic pack. So let's go ahead and put the rest of these aside for now, and pop this open to see exactly what it comes with. Now we're going to go ahead and dump out all the contents, place them on the table. If you notice, we have the pre-cut dot space that correlates to the design that's on the top of the packaging. All right, so you do not have to do any more cutting. We do it all for you. So we're gonna put the packaging aside because we don't need it right now. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have the dot space, the pre-cut dot space. On the back comes with a card. It shows you, let me focus in on this for you. It shows you how much of each dot block you get. Whoop. Let me try that again. There we go. It shows you how many dots blocks you get along with the design, the template on how to create this design on the base. All right, so let's go ahead and pull that card off. And now we have all the dots blocks we need. So let me zoom in for you so you can see exactly what I'm doing throughout this process. Let me make sure everything's in the frame right here. Just give me a second. There we go. All right, so now we have our design, we have our base, and we have the dots blocks. So let's go ahead and get started on making our seahorse. All right, so the first thing I wanna do, now remember, there are no rules. This is just my personal preference. I prefer to do all the least or the most scarce colors first. So if you look, the most scarce color in this design is the white. So we're gonna take the white dots block and we're gonna use that first. Remember, we're gonna tear this border off, but we're not gonna throw it away because we can always use it later. 
So we're just gonna put it aside for now. All right, so it looks like I have one, two, three, four single dots pixels for white. So that's exactly what I'm gonna pull off. I'm going to pull off a whole row of four dots pixels, just like that. And then I'm going to separate these into four single dots pixels, just like this. So now we have four single dots pixels and we can go ahead and put them onto our dots base. According to the template, one of them goes right here. Another one goes right here. The third one goes right here. And the final one goes right there. And now we need an L shape from the white dots block to complete the white of the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear off three dots pixels off the white dots block in the shape of an L. And I'm going to put it right here because that's where I think the design or the template is telling me to put it on the dots base. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and complete the eye with the pupil. We're gonna take the black dots block, tear off a single pixel, just like that. We're gonna put that right there underneath the L shape. And there we have it, there's our eye. So we're gonna go ahead and put our white and our uh, black dots blocks aside for now. We don't need them anymore. Let's go ahead and fill in the yellow next. So, we're gonna take our yellow dots block, tear off that border, put it aside, and we're gonna tear off, it looks like we have one, two, three, four single dots uh, pixels. So we're gonna take off four again, just like that. We're gonna tear them into four single dots pixels, just like that. Now we have four, and we're gonna put them exactly where the template tells us. So it looks like one goes right here, another one goes, oh, it looks like I made a mistake. So no problem at all. All right, so this dots block, or this white dots pixel does not go where I just put it, it actually goes one above it. So we're gonna fix that real quick, no problem at all. All right, now we're gonna put that yellow one where it goes. Okay, let's see. Actually, you know what, I think this, you know what, I made another mistake. This was in the right spot. I was looking at the wrong spot, which is fine. Everything comes off very easily, nothing is permanent. So there we go. Now we have 